Hey, I'm Jennifer with Red Pony Leather Goods, and we're going to make some earrings. So, I would start with a 5 to 6 ounce piece of leather, which is how the thickness of leather is measured. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to trace your pattern that you're going to be cutting. And so, you're going to wet the leather with a sponge, and then you're going to put your tracing film over the top of the leather. So, just carefully trace. And so the next thing that we would do is cut these earrings out. And I use an X-Acto knife. This is a fresh blade. I always make sure that it's really sharp. If you like a finished edge, which you don't have to have, you can have a, like a chunky edge and it makes it look a little bit more rustic. But if you like a finished edge, you're gonna wanna use an edge beveler to round the edges. The next step is let's just go ahead and punch the holes for the findings. So you just want to get close to the top, but not so close that you cut the edge off. You can actually finish your edges a little bit smoother with a little bit of sandpaper and you just kind of go along with your shape. The next step is going to be to case the leather, which is to wet it and then you're going to let it dry for a little bit so that it will take the impressions. You're going to get the best impressions if you wait until it's almost back to the color that it would be if it if it was dry. When you're making a pair, I usually do them together so that they'll be as similar as possible. And it helps when you're doing earrings or other jewelry if you have a focal point. So now that your earrings have dried, you're going to use a die. This is a leather die. You're gonna kind of just saturate one half of the dauber. This is a wool dauber. This is the thing that I would highly recommend. You're gonna get a better finish with this than you would with anything else. So I'm just gonna give them one coat and then I'm gonna turn them over and dye the back side. And now they're pretty saturated, so I would allow these to dry before I dyed the edges of them. Because when I'm when I'm gonna dye the edges of them, I'm gonna burnish them. The next thing that you can do is burnish the back of the earrings. That will compress the fibers of the back and it gives it a good finished look. And you can also add a little bit more dye to the back if you want to. So once you have that done, then you can go ahead and with your wool dopper, your dye, dye the edge. Try not to get any dye on the front or the back, which if you do, you can always, you know, add a little extra dye to the back. Then you use these grooves that are in the hand burnisher to slick the edges. I'm going to use some of the Ecoplo Super Sheen Leather Finish. That's, but just go ahead and coat the leather really good with this. So the next thing you want to do is after you've let your super sheen dry completely, you're going to want to add, oh, you may want to add, you don't have to add an um, antique finish. So you're going to want to try to work it into the crevices with the wool dauber and then you're going to wipe it off immediately. You're going to add your findings. I believe this is an eight millimeter jump ring. You can go to any uh, craft store usually and find all different sizes and finishes. These are antique brass. you can card your earrings up they're ready to sell or wear all right thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy creating this project and i hope it sparks some creativity in your everyday life